Okay, hey guys, it's Hunter Elliott with RangeOut.com. I'm out here this uh, beautiful Saturday afternoon with the uh, Ruger Mini 14 chambered in 300 blackout. This is a much newer model of the Mini 14, as we all know. The Mini 14 has been around a long time. It's proven to be a, a pretty nice, handy, reasonably accurate, reliable rifle. We're going to shoot this thing at 100 yards from a rest with iron sights, get some groups. I've filled this 20 round magazine with four different types of ammunition in 300 blackout. I've used two different types of steel wood, Barnes Vortex, and the Remington 125 grain. These are all full metal jackets and ballistics tips. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run 20 rounds through it offhand just to show the gun cycling and functioning with different profiles of ammunition. There they go. did shoot uh, this magazine through this rifle several times just to see if the Ruger 223 magazine would work and it worked fine run the gun fine lock the bolt to the rear so good to go so if you do happen to have some Ruger mini 14 magazines around the house and you're interested in the 300 blackout understand the magazines are interchangeable but once again you got to be damn sure when you're loading 300 blackout you're shooting in something chambered in 300 blackout when you're loading in 223 or 556, you got to be shooting out of something chambered in 223 or 556. So uh, I know I'm, I'm kind of beating on that a little bit hard, and I know a lot of people probably already realize that, but safety, safety, safety. You don't want to blow your gun up, hurt yourself, tear something up. Steel wood, and they're actually out of um, Sanford, North Carolina, and they make a, it's a 240 grain Sierra Match King subsonic, which is a big, heavy bullet. And I found it 100 yards. I've shot that out of some ARs and this Ruger, and it did really well. But I haven't shot that out of the Ruger with the can on it. So I figured I'd try five rounds of the Steelwood 240 grain. Subsonic. Okay, friends and neighbors, we're at the end of the Ruger Mini 14 Tactical Rifle Review. This particular one is chambered in 300 AAC blackout. So, you know, the Mini 14 has been around 35, 40 some odd years. And uh, initially it was known as a very reliable, robust rifle. Maybe not the most accurate rifle in the world, but still, you know, reasonably accurate. Now, Ruger has addressed that and certainly has improved upon the accuracy of the Mini 14 over the years. The second incarnation was the Mini 30 that came out in 762 by 39. This just out. 300 blackout. Now the 762 by 39 is ballistically very similar to the 300 AAC blackout cartridge supersonic. The benefit you've got of the blackout is you can go to subsonic. You can go from 208 to 240 grain bullet weight and shoot that a thousand, thousand fifty feet a second. Still putting a large heavy bullet with a lot of energy downrange through the gun to, you know, as of now. All of those were factory loads supers and subs didn't have any kind of malfunctions misfeeds jams or anything like that through those through those 250 260 rounds so if you if you and if you want to reference what ammunition that was that we used specifically there will be a chart on the rangehot.com actual written article so the only the only bobble that i had and and, I, and i'm not going to say this is a, a fault of the rifle is it, it did not reliably cycle the 208 grain Hornaday subsonic round. Um, it would cycle sometimes, you know, sometimes it wouldn't. Now, when I stepped up to a 220 grain Remington or Corbon and I shot some 240 grain steel wood through it, without the silencer, it ran great. It's an SR7 30 caliber can on this Mini 14 to show you that indeed it will cycle the Hornaday 208 grain subsonic rounds when you add a silencer. And the barrel, you know, you've got this flash eye that Ruger installed, which actually works pretty well, but it's, it's it threads right off, 
and you can put whatever silencer that you like. So, you know, we shot this out at 100 yards with the iron sights and, you know, shot a couple two and a half inch groups. Now, I probably could have mounted a scope on that and improved upon that a little bit. But, you know, I was satisfied enough with that to show that this rifle is, is, is definitely more accurate than I would have expected, being that it is a Mini 14 and 300 Blackout. So, speaking of scopes, this rifle comes from Ruger with an actual little pick rail that mounts just over the action. And it also comes in a box with Ruger branded scope rings, two of them. So, uh, obviously two. Cause <laughs> but anyway, the reason I mention that is also that's a very nice feature, you know, to add to a rifle like this. And plus, when you go out and buy your Mini 14, you open the box and it don't have scope rings in it, you need to be asking questions. Now, it ships with two 20 rounders. And uh, Ruger was good enough to put 300 AAC blackout right here on the magazine. Really, the only thing I could find that I just didn't love was the rear sight. It, it's, it is adjustable, but it's, it, I don't know, it's just, I like it where I've got a couple knobs here where I can do my wind and elevation. Now, the front sight is awesome. It's got a front sight blade that I'm used to with the two little wings here that protects it. The trigger here, it's a little on the heavy side, got a little bit of a creep coming in at just about seven and a half pounds. I like the fact that this new Mini 14 tactical rifle comes with a synthetic stock. I mean, wood is pretty and all, I get that, but the synthetic is going to be a little tougher. It's going to stand up to a little bit more abuse. Now, I look at this rifle as Ruger's building this as a tool. You know, it, it is, it's a good looking rifle, but it's very utilitarian. Another feature that I like about this is, uh, as all the Mini 14s I've, I've ever seen, it's got the safety right here. So, I mean, that would be an ambidextrous safety. Really, that's not a whole lot bad I can say about the rifle. There's not a whole lot bad I can say about Ruger. I mean, you know, anybody that's, that, that even has a passing interest in firearms knows Ruger builds nice stuff. And the, and the new Mini 14 Tactical Rifle and 300 Blackout is no exception. Okay, guys, so that's, that's it. I'm thoroughly satisfied with the way the rifle ran, shot. So I'm going to call that good. I appreciate you taking the time to, um, you know, read my reviews, watch the videos. As always, if you have any input, complaints, suggestions, questions, you can always shoot me an email, you can find us on Facebook, get a hold of me, let me know what your thoughts are. I get a lot of feedback from the people that read my articles and I really appreciate that because look, nobody's perfect, so if you've got some suggestions or whatever, that's how we make everything better. We're all in this together, guys, so let me know what you think. Be safe, and hopefully I'll see you at the range. Y'all take care.